What's up, guys? Okay, we're out here at the Lever Deadfall trap again. We're switching from the Paiute that I had to a uh, figure four setup. So we've got the three sticks here. This is my bait stick. This is some older apple, so it's been on here for a while. It's dried. The uh, rodents have actually come and eaten off of it, but because of it's got this clamp here and the wire, they've been unable to actually remove all of the apple. I'm going to have a skewer on the end for even more bait. So that prevents them from stealing it, allows me to keep reusing the bait. And it's just a better way of uh, putting bait on the end of a, a trigger stick. So we're going to go ahead and set this up here. Takes a little while to get it right. You see, it's a little off balance. Yeah. You gotta be careful with this because this will come down and smash your fingers if you aren't. So we're controlling it with our diagonal stick. And it looks like, yeah, that's gross. I didn't even see that to begin with. But a mouse got into it. So that, it definitely works. But obviously we're not going for mice, so. Flattened him out, man. Talk about overkill. I did have this notch down here, it was too low, so I made another one up higher. And it's a little, uh, kind of rotated the wrong way. We want that vertical stick to be as straight up and down as possible. Now I know for a fact this thing does fit good. But, for some reason that vertical stick is, is rotating too much. So I first like to catch it. Hmm, this is interesting. These things are fickle, so you just gotta keep working it until you get it right. Whatever you do, don't let that bad boy slam down on you. It will gouge your knuckles. And this thing's so heavy, it's even wearing out my hand with levering it up like this. Just when accidents usually happen. That might be good. Let's see if that's what it is. Not really sure what the problem is here, guys.
and sometimes when the actual rock itself isn't balanced right, it'll apply uneven pressure through the trigger and you won't get that, that lock up where you need it. So what's happening here is the trigger stick isn't the horizontal stick isn't lining up with the diagonal. And it can be anything from the way it's situated on the vertical or the way the base down here is situated. I'm telling. What I like to do when this happens is just set it down. Just take a break for a minute because it'll get, as you start to wear out with it, you'll start getting more frustrated. And you'll, you'll get cramps. And you'll lose perspective. You'll just make matters worse on yourself. So I like to just chill. Think about it line up my sticks try to figure out where exactly the problem is and I know I had this set perfect before so obviously you saw it smash the mouse so it should work and even right there I just had it again that worked so it's more than likely a matter of how the vertical stick is resting, but I can see that there's an issue with one of the diagonal sticks here. What I'm going to do is shave off the face of that to make this fit a little bit better. Okay. And we will go ahead and try this one again. It's nice that this has handlebars, which you can use to hoist that rock up. You'll see how I, when I adjust it, kind of push, I'm, I'm using these fingers down here to move the sticks, and then using my hand pressing up to hold the rock. Just gives you more support, more control, and acts as kind of a safety guard. So we got it. And you can see when it's off, 
or you got something off, it just it take it doesn't go right. You start over again, take a few minutes to calm down and just refocus. You try it again and it goes up in ten seconds. And this is perfect because you see the bait that is in the absolute middle of the trap as much to the back as it is to the front and that's just going to give you the ideal uh, location so any way the animal comes in it's going to have to go right in the very middle so you don't need to fence it off or anything or direct where you want it to go it's going to be right there That's the part that was giving me problems right there. So I shaved it, changed the angle on it. You see how it's kind of got two angles. One's kind of flat this way and one angles out that way. It was coming this way too much. So I made it go like that and then it lines up a little bit better. So that may have actually made the difference. But I'd set it up before a couple times. It worked perfect, so I'm not sure why now all of a sudden it gave me a problem. I get a little piece of leftover bait like that apple. I'll push it under. And there's tons of sticks around. There's no reason to get your hand under there. Use a stick. And I'll put it, you know, like, kind of wedge it down in here or something. Don't make it easy to get. It's still easy to get, but you get the idea. You want everything focused around the trigger stick. And so I'll sometimes go like that. I'm not sure how sensitive this is going to be, so i got to be careful. But put other sticks on your trigger. Okay. Then the animal has to move your sticks out of the way to get to the bait. While it's moving sticks out of the way, it's going to climb in there, it's going to push stuff out of the way, it's going to inadvertently trigger the, the trap. I'm just going to look at the rest of the trap here. I don't want to belabor this video because I know I've done the other videos of the Paiute deadfall with this. I do want to show that figure four set up because it's a it's an important trigger mechanism. And on top I've even added another rock just to give it more crushing weight. So, there's that flattened mouse. And here's another one. And it looks like they did get in there and nibble on it. And that's a really small one. And just goes to show those mice are so nimble. They'll eat the uh, apple or eat the bait with right on the trigger stick and never touch it off. So he either went to this one and moved on to the other one and got caught. Or 
or it was a different mouse, who knows what happened, but they definitely got in there and got some of that bait. And it's almost like they know, and I don't know how, but it's like they know that if they keep going, it's gonna something bad's gonna happen. So they'll just eat part of the bait and then take off again. Because if they went any further, they're gonna have to get more aggressive and it's gonna trigger it. And this is just a traditional deadfall, it's not a levered deadfall. This is a it's a small rock, but it's got them a, a good some of the characteristics you want. It's a little bit long. So it's got a longer distance to fall. Or I don't know how to describe that, but it's not short. You want it long ways when it's uh, from the end it's sitting on to give the animal more room to get up under it. And it's got a really nice flat underside, which is important. And again, I've done the uh, platform here with flat rocks so that it'll get crushed in those. And then the deadfall weight is thick, so it's really heavy. So, I mean, even if a rabbit might be able to get out of that, but a bird won't or a squirrel won't. So, that's uh, just a small example. And that, this deadfall is probably about one-third, as far as the actual sticks, or about one-third the size of the other ones. And I just kind of made this real crude pretty quickly and put it all together. But this would be a completely primitive trap. The only thing artificial about it is that obviously the bait, the apple, it's not, you're not going to find that in your natural environment normally, particularly a desert. So you'd find some other uh, bait, whether it's just visual or I mean, as long, if you put something in there that just looks like food, just colorful or just kind of looks like something, the animal may go for it anyways. So you don't even necessarily have to use the food they eat, especially if you don't know what the food is or can't find it. You just put anything, and more than likely, something's going to come across it and mess with it. But at the same time, You've got the most ideal bait that you can have, which is apple. And I say that because birds, rodents, and rabbits love it. Even larger game, raccoons, possums, coyotes, they like it too. So that's the most ideal bait. So even using ideal bait, you're not guaranteed that you're going to get action in your trap. So just keep that in mind. But it was cool to see that the uh, the other one did work, at least on a mouse. It makes a, a very complicated mouse trap, <laughs> but it works. Uh, hopefully we can get something better than mice over here. So that's pretty much it on this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.